Good morning, sheep. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Girl, a girl just woke up. Well, not just woke up. But the bitch just got out the shower. Shower shit, shade. You know, all that good shit. Sitting here chilling. I was going to put on my hat, but I said, girl, bye. I ain't finna do all that. I ain't in the mood. Um, shit, a bitch got an interview coming up at a hospital around here, girl. Because, you know, a bitch got to be working. Okay, I got to be working, bitch. So... Congratulations to me, girl. Be one of these hospitals over here is dumb enough to hide my ass, girl. <laughs> Cause y'all know I'm a registered nurse and shit like that, and that bitch gotta be working. So, girl, a, a shout out to Mariah Carey. Um, her new album done came out. What's the name of this shit, girl? Uh, the album is called Caution, and it really ain't that bad. Go off, Miss Mariah, and I actually like this song. She went off. She went off. Shouts out to Mariah Carey's new album. If you have not gotten it, it's called Caution. Y'all need to go and get it. All my MC fans. MC to the second square, bitch. Go over there and pick her up. Now, y'all know I've been getting new subscribers, and I appreciate all of my new subscribers. So, I said, I want to give y'all more content other than this dry-ass season of Bring It, which is more than likely going to be the last season of Bring It, and little shit that I see here and there. You know that's going on in the news. So I said, girl, I stopped watching Love and Hip Hop New York way back when I was in VA. It's just not doing nothing for me. It don't do nothing for me. It don't do nothing for my spirit, my soul, my loins, nothing. And it was on Monday night. Still didn't give me nothing much to really talk about. Like, it's just, it's dry. It's dry. Like, y'all, I'm trying with Love and Hip Hop. I'm trying with Love and Hip Hop. It's, it's just... Season one, season two, season three, season four, those were when it was good and when it had the most going on. Season five, season six, season seven, season eight, this season, bitch, just throw the whole fucking franchise away. Either do that or bring on some new motherfucking people. It's just like with this re, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta shit. When you constantly had the same hoes with the same drama, the same issues, it is just stagnant and it don't get nowhere. Like, girl, girl. And, and, it's, and I'm trying. I swear like hell. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I just can't. I cannot get with it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm not. I won't. I refuse. <sighs> Lord, who I want to talk about first? Um, the first thing that I don't want to talk about is this court case that's going on with Miracle and, um, you know, Rich. Honestly, Rich. You are so reaching for a storyline, and I really felt like you are honestly exploiting what the fuck this lady got going on for your game. Because, Rich, for me, I just don't think, like, if, if it were me, I would be the first one to be sitting here telling these producers, listen, if I got to fuck Mariah Lynn, y'all could do that. If I got to try to fuck Juju, y'all could do it, because y'all know that's all he good for, because he, for damn show, ain't doing shit in the music industry no more. Like, I, you know, for me... I would have just been like, I would do anything other than putting this out on the spotlight. Like, it's, it's embarrassing. It's already all over the news as it is. Now you got it all over VH1. It's like, just, I I wish you wouldn't have done that, Rich. Like, some shit really should just be off limits. And I felt like that situation really should have been off limits. That's just my opinion. I'm not asking none of y'all to agree with me. But then again, Rich ain't got shit going on. Like I said, he's not in music no more. I don't understand why we constantly seeing him up in the studio with somebody when he ain't doing shit in the industry no more. Like, that's the type of shit why I don't want to watch this shit. Because it's just not doing anything for me. We all know you're not doing that shit no more. What the hell is you doing, Rich? That's what we want to know. What the hell are you really doing that you around here bringing these coins? Are you selling your ass? Because the show ain't that last dick you got. Like, w w what is it? What is it? But don't exploit this woman and her legal issues just so that you can have an end on this show. Don't do that. Um, Throw the whole Sydney star away. Throw the whole Sydney star away. We don't need her. She don't represent me. She don't represent the community. And she for damn show ain't getting into nobody's music industry. She's not. She's not. That's why nobody say it's one thing if she was like Jay Will, who just so happened to be gay, but he also happens to really have talent. That's one thing. Sydney Starr woke up one morning and said, girl, 
all right, ain't no more of these goddamn men fucking with me because I'm going to expose them for some clout. Let me see who dick I can suck to get up here on Love and Hip Hop. Like, that's what I think it is. She didn't have a storyline, and I'm more than sure Mona Scott said, well, girl, we going to try to turn you into some music, and, you know, trying to get into the music, this, that, and the third, and you go do it. I'm not with that shit, Sydney Stein. I'm not with you. I tried. You don't give me anything. You starting drama and issues with bitches that it don't even need to be had. Like, I, uh, come on. This album is more inter- interesting than this motherfucking season, girl. Come on. This caution. Shout out to Mariah Carey, bitch. Um, uh, Nia Lee, come, 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 come here, daughter. Please come here, daughter. Come here. Sit down right here. I got a seat right here for you, bitch. And yes, we on the love seat. I need you close, bitch. I need you. <laughs> Naya, I need you close, bitch. Okay? Because I'm so sick and tired of you always around here saying the same shit. Stop testing my gangsta. Stop testing my gangsta. Ain't that how she talk? Why are you? Because you, you're trying me. You're trying my gangsta. Don't let the don't let the old Naya Lee come out. What, 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 Naya Lee? Let me ask you a question, baby. What is the old Naya Lee? Cause if, shit, I've never heard anything about you whooping a bitch ass. I've heard you got your ass whooped, no tea, no shade, sis. And I also heard you got Timbo sliced all down to your chest. And you rock that scar and you rock it proud. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, girl, you know who to go after and who not to go after. That's my issue with you. Like, I'm so sick of, t- uh, you know, this, this, uh, Nile right here, girl. I'm so sick and tired of you running across my TV screen always talking about, you're trying me, you're testing my gangsta, you're testing my gangsta. Like, Miss Girl, I don't mean no harm, but you are not the original Dundada around here in New York. And I don't understand why they're trying so hard to force Naya Lee on, I mean, uh, Sydney Star on you. Because you're not even in the music industry, sis. You're not. When I was living in Virginia, I gave it to you. I said, you know what? Maybe she's on some local stations down here, down to the um, New York. Bitch, I'm in Long Island. I done listened to the radio since I've been here. I still ain't heard nothing that you came out with. So stop trying to sit here and act like you're doing so much in the industry. You know so many uh, connections. It, to me, it's like you cloud chasing, sis. Stop doing that shit. And then, bitch, you go after Mariah Lynn. I would have much rather you go after Sydney boy in a dress star, a bitch that really can be some competition for you, than for you to go after skinny mini Mariah damn Lynn. And Mariah Lynn, it ain't no shade to you, sis, because you know, once upon a time, not too long ago, I was a whole myself. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't no shade. I'm just, I, you know, I'm just using you as a reference. You know, don't feel no type of way. Now back to you. Naya Lee, quit doing that shit, girl. Talk about what the fuck you really got going on because it ain't music. And stop running around here talking about some bitches is testing your gangster. Like, for real, for real. Like, Naya Lee, you know who to do it with. Because something tells me you would not do that shit to uh, Miss Jocelyn. You would not do that shit to Tommy. You would not do that shit to Cardi B. You would not do that shit to her sister Hennessy. And you damn sure wouldn't do that shit with Johnny Blaze. Girl. Go after bitches that you know can give you something. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Like I said, MC is way more entertaining. This is a no-no, bitch. This is my shit. But come on, Nightly girl. Do something with your life, child. Take care of that pretty little baby of yours. You know what I'm saying? Like, you beautiful with or without makeup. You can always be a model. Anything that you trying to sit here and, 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 and believe your own damn hype. Because, Miss Girl, we not buying it over here, Nightly. We not buying it over here, Nightly. But I love you, girl. I love that bitch. Uh, what else is going on? Um... This shit with Yandy and Cambella, the shit is dumb, it's old, it's stale. And I'm going to tell y'all something else. Y'all need to, like Mona, you don't have it in a contract to not be taking pictures together and Snapchats together and this shit and that shit where we're up here clearly seeing that they're, you know, that they beefing right now, but yet... Yandy was in the wedding. Yandy is her bridesmaid. They take the pictures together. Obviously, they're friends now. So that takes all of that shit away because we already know what went on. Like, I don't understand. I'm not even going to get on Kim Bella and Yandy because y'all done dragged this shit out so far. And something tells me it's just so Yandy can have a storyline. 
that I believe. I believe that is what Yandy is using to have a storyline, but I do not believe in one way, shape, or form that Yandy is using Infinity for a storyline. That I do not believe. I don't believe that at all, and I do not condone, you know, Mariah Lynn and, um, Mariah Lynn and Kimbella sitting there yada yada yickety yicking about that shit when they went down to the vengeance, you know what I'm saying? And Maggie, I like you a lot, but I don't condone you carrying that bone back to Yandy. She had no idea about that. There was no need for you to even bring that up to her, especially in the hey, especially in that motherfucker setting, um, Maggie. Please don't start being the bone collector. I don't want that for you because I actually like you, Maggie. And I really want to know more about you and your music because you and Mano say that you can sing. Like, girl, I, I want to hear something, Miss Armstress. I want to hear some. Uh, what Kim Bella and Joel's got going on, you know, I'm so sorry that that is happening with him. I, I really am because I, I have a soft spot in my heart for Dipset and um, Jewels. But Jewels, perception is reality. And I'm sorry for us when you was when you when you wasn't about to go to jail, you was running around with this bitch, that bitch you weren't thinking about Kim Bella. Now that you about to go to Shawshank and sit your ass down for a couple of years, now you want to settle down and marry her. I mean, I'm sorry. Perception is reality. That's what it looks like to the general public. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. That may not be what it is, but that is what it look like. So you wonder why everybody is saying that. Well, bitch, that's why. That's why. When you won't finna, uh, have be, have a ball and chain on your motherfucking leg, you was running around town cheating on her on every corner. Now that you got to sit your ass down, it's like, well, I may as well marry her. Why? So she won't go nowhere? Like, that might not be what it is, Jewels. I like you. I don't want to believe that. But perception is what, class? Reality. Safari, I don't know what Safari doing. I don't. First he was doing, um, he was producing some shit. Then he was making his own album. Then he had a deal though with Doc Johnson. Like Safari, you, 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 you everywhere, my dude. You use everywhere. You everywhere. And, and you're annoying me now. You really are. Like you're really not even needed for this season. Um, I would really love to see more of Mayno and Maggie because they're actually new. I would love to see what else they have going on with each other. Um, am I missing anybody? Miss Jonathan. I mean, I don't know. I don't know Miss Jonathan. Um, you seem to have a lot of goddamn drama with you, girl. Uh, you really do. You have a lot of drama with you. And I, I noticed something about you, Miss Jonathan. You like to play the fence a lot. And I understand you consider yourself friends with most of these girls other than Sydney Star, but I mean you gotta have some loyalty somewhere. Um, but that's really all I got to say for you. I'm not gonna give you much, Miss Jonathan, because I won't hear for you the previous season, but I'm kind of here for you this season. So I'm not gonna give you much. I, I, I I'm just sick of you straddling the fence on every friendship. That, that's all I'm saying. Sister to sister, sis to sis. Um. Like, I, I don't know what else, y'all. Uh, we already talked about... Uh, uh, since Santana and Joe Budden. So not needed. Please do not renew their contracts if there is a 10th season of this shit. Please don't renew their contracts. Sin don't give us nothing. She's jumping in everybody else's storyline. Uh, Joe Button ain't got shit going on. He jumping into everybody else's uh, storyline. Damn sure ain't trying to jump up in her bed. He finally decided to jump up in her bed. He finally decided to get her some dick. Um, and that, that now, I mean, they're all happy and lovey-dovey. I mean, that's really all I got. Don't renew that shit for next season. They were not needed at all. Uh, what else? Um, Papoos and Remy Ma. Y'all know I love the both of them. I love the both of them. But they really were not needed for this season. They ain't do shit. Um, y'all could have kept them. No tea, no shade. Y'all know I live for Remy and I live for Papoos. But they were not needed. Um, y'all, I, I, don't, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to say. Like I said, this season is so boring. It is boring. It, boring, boring, boring. It, it ain't giving me nothing. 
Y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all let me know if y'all are still even watching this season. Let me know what the flying fuck y'all think about this season. Again, shout out to Mariah Carey. This is her new album, Caution. Y'all make sure y'all go get that. It's, it's, she did her thing. And um, I'm going to talk to you later, Sheik. I guess I'm going to watch Love and Hip Hop Miami. See what they got going on. I stopped watching that shit too. But I'm going to holler at you later. But before I go, make sure you like, share, comment. But most importantly, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that bell button so you can always be notified on everything that I got going on, girl. And until I see you, we will talk to you later, Sheik. Bye.